Welcome to Hometown Heroes. I'm your host, Andy Kitzrow. Today in the studio, we're going to be talking about classics for a cause. This year, we have two fabulous people from Bennett High School. First up, we have Amy Venos, who's going to talk to us about her involvement with Classics for a Cause. Welcome, Amy. Hi. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. Um, so, so tell me about Classics for a Cause and how you got involved in, in this event. Um, Classics for a Cause is an event. Um, it's done by the Salisbury by Comico Arts Council. And um, basically, um, it has a program called the Instrument Barn. And mm -hmm. what that is, is it donates um, instruments to students who have trouble affording them. So um, basically, Classics for a Cause is a piano concert done by me and Peter um, to help donate money uh, for the instrument barn. Um, I also got um, involved with it by, um, I heard about it from last year because um, Kai, Kai Manazade and Karen Murphy had a, um, had, uh, did this program mm -hmm. last year and um, I just heard it was a really big success so I decided to come and join. Great. Um, you mentioned a couple of things I wanted to hit on, on the instrument barn. Mm -hmm. um, what is that? Um, the instrument barn, like I said, it was, um, it just donates instruments to students who, can, um, who have trouble affording them, but um, it's a really good program. Um, um, people donate money or, mm -hmm. you know, like Classics for a Cause, um, they collect money and give it to them. So it's it's really helpful. Great. So this year at the Classics for a Cause, um, the both of you are going to be doing a piano recital. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been involved with playing the piano? Um, I've been playing piano for as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. but um, I think I started around six. Wow, that's like almost 12 <laughs> years or so. Um, now, during the recital, are you going to be playing, I guess, classical music? And um, mm -hmm. uh, how long? How long is is your set? Um, gosh, um, you'll have classical music. You'll have um, I know. Um, I'm playing a couple songs myself. P uh, Peter will play, and um, Kieran will be playing a piece too. So. Great. Now, uh, tell us about the details for Classics for the Cause. Uh, where is it? When is it? What time? Um, Classics for a Cause is at Asbury Methodist. Um, it's on November 14th at 7 o'clock p.m. So. Now, can anybody come? Is there a fee involved? Um, yes, there is a fee. Um, it's uh, $10 per person, um, but if you have like certain other, um, like if you're a SWAC member, you can get a discount, and if you're a student. Okay. And are people able to, um, let's say they're watching this and want to bring an instrument to donate, could they actually bring it yes, to the show too? Yes, yes. Um, yeah, if you bring a slightly used instrument um, to the event, then you can get it for free. So. Oh, great. Well, that's exciting. Um, so you've been playing piano for over 10 years. Um, probably can't remember when you started, but mm -hmm. have you seen a real... Um, progression in your abilities and are you, are you nervous about the event? Um, every once in a while you get nervous but the more you practice the more you're involved with it the um, more you can learn to kind of become more used to it and mm -hmm. um, become less nervous. Yeah. How did you uh, choose the pieces you're going to be playing? Um, some of the pieces I've played before and mm -hmm. um, most of the pieces I play is just what I think are one of the most beautiful pieces I've played so far. Great. Um, well, going back to the classics for a cause, the whole concept mm -hmm. of that. I know it started last year, and I was able to interview Kieran about it. Um, and Kaya, why is it important to have an event like that um, in the community? Um, I think it's really good not only you know to donate the money to the students, but also um, classical music. Um, a lot of people aren't very interested in it, mm -hmm. so having this event will make other people more. Um, knowledgeable about classical music, maybe they'll get their children to start classical music, so more people will be involved. That's great. Um, now from your standpoint, uh, what's it mean to you to get involved in this event? Um, it means a lot. Um, I'm really, in, I really try to be involved in my community. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of community service and um, this is definitely a big uh, project, so I'm really excited. <laughs> um, you mentioned community service and, um, and I know the whole Calls has been set up by, by young people, teenagers, high school students. Um, why is it important to have um, students be able to partake in community service and, and give back in community? What's, what's that mean to our community? Uh, community service is it's really good for the community. It helps people in the mm -hmm. community and it also helps the student themselves who uh, participate in community service because it really helps their morals and helps them grow up um, and 
just makes them a better person uh, all around. So what, what have you learned specifically from the things that you've gotten involved in over the years? Um, I've learned, you know, especially like playing in front of an audience, mm -hmm. but um, just, you know, there's all these people in the community and they're really nice people. So um, just being involved with them, you get to meet new people. And it's just a nice experience. Um, all right, so you're going to be going back to the event. Um, what date was that again? November 14th. November 14th. Um, you're going to be there. You and Peter, you and Kieran are, are going to be up in front of the stage. You, do you get nervous still when you get in front of <laughs> people and play? Well, a little, but um, I'm going to try to, you know, practice. The more you practice, the mm -hmm. less nervous. <laughs> Great. Um, well, a couple more questions here. Um, You've been playing piano for over a decade now. You're going to be playing this year at this recital. Um, wh where do you see piano playing in your future? Um, definitely, I was thinking career, but um, even if that's not a possible choice, then I'd still like to continue piano in my life just as a hobby or mm -hmm. just playing <laughs> around the community. Um, now, looking at piano, just you talk about classical music. Um, in your opinion, what does music do for not only the average person listening um, or being introduced to new music, like classical music, but what is what, what is the value or, or importance of music, I guess, to, to people? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think of music as like entertainment, but mm -hmm. I think it's more than that. It's um, just a big part of your life. Like wherever you are, you're probably going to hear music in the background or um, it just enhances everything in your life. What have you learned about yourself playing playing piano? Uh, well, piano has a lot of moods. It has um, all the pieces are so different. So every time you play a different song, you have to have that certain type of mood. So um, it really just shows me like what type of feelings that I can have um, and show it to the public. Great. Now, um, this is your last kind of pub to to the public who's watching. What would you say? How what is your pitch to them to come out on November 14th? Why should they come out and hear the recital? Um, I'd say, you know, come just to hear and um, listen and enjoy. It's really good for the community. It's good for the um, students who are getting instruments from the instrument barn. And it's just good to be there and listen to the concert. Great. Is there anything else you wanted to bring up around Classics for a Cause? Um, there's actually a dessert reception at the end, so... Great. Um, yes. We'll come for that, if nothing else. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, well uh, Amy, I really appreciate you coming in the studio today and spending this time with us on Hometown Heroes. All right. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks. Now joining me in the studio is Peter Lean. Welcome, Peter. Hello. So tell me, Peter, how did you get involved with Classics for a Cause? I went to last year's show, which is, was first show, and it motivated me a lot. Like helping people and well it's not about like s one people like one person it's more about helping society mm -hmm. as we playing piano for them so I Karen told me about this program and I gladly joined it like joined it yeah <laughs> how um how long have you played piano I played piano since I was seven years old and um, you were mentioning earlier that the piano, um, it's more than just kind of like the music. It's, it's people gravitate toward the, the music and, and really enjoy. Yes. That. What I think is um, when people like think about classic music, mm -hmm. it's more boring and like sleepy. But back in like 18th, 17th centuries, it was kind of pop music right now so it's really it has more story and mm -hmm. it's more like makes people feel something yeah. yes is that why you enjoy playing classical music yeah I can't live without classical music <laughs> do, you, do you have a favorite um, composer uh, composer yeah yeah, my favorite composer is Frédéric Chopin. Okay. Yes. Are you going to play a, a, a one of his pieces during the... Yes, I'm playing two of his pieces, yes. Okay. So um, tell me about what it was like watching the Classics for a Cause last year, being in the audience, not knowing what to expect, and then seeing it unfold. 
Well, I knew the music very well, but like I think as a perspective of someone who doesn't know about music very well, mm -hmm. they played really good, and I think. It was really interesting show, and I think the pub public got more invo involved to um, classic music itself, and I think it was really good for helping people, mm -hmm. but also like let people know about classical music. So it seems to be doing uh, two two phases to this classic sort of calls. Not only are you able to introduce classical music or have people who know the music appreciate it, but you also are able to use it as a fundraiser to help people get introduced to music. Yes, as this purpose, this mm -hmm. concert purpose is like helping people mm -hmm. who can't take piano lesson or they don't have instrument because they don't have money. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really good opportunity to us to having a concert. Okay. Yeah. Um, you mentioned to me that you're not from the United States. Where are you from? I'm from South Korea. Okay. I came here almost two years ago. Yes, and it was hard to learning English, mm -hmm. but I started. I restarted my music career last year, and the learning music portion wasn't that hard because it's kind of united. Yes. Yeah. yeah you know, and that's what's really neat about music is um is even though you may have some language barriers, especially with playing piano mm -hmm. and some of the classicals, you know, those are those are universal and, and everyone appreciates them from all walks of yeah, life too. That's right. It's really great. Um, now when is the event um, taking place? It's November fourteenth and it's at Asbury Methodist Church and it's seven PM. Now if someone wants to get involved in in um, and, and come and appreciate the music, um, is there a fee associated with it? Yes, it's $10 for adults and $8 for SWAG members or seniors and $5 for students and under five years old, it's free. Okay. Um, earlier, we had Amy talk about the instrument barn and how um, it is kind of a, a, a re-giving of instruments to other people who don't have it. Why is that important to have that in a community? In my experience, when I was in Korea, I didn't like have, I wasn't in really rich family. So it was kind of really hard to keep music, doing music without like instruments. So when I'm thinking about that, it's really important to giving people to have opportunity that they can play instruments, mm -hmm. having instruments. Yeah, I think it w it's like really helping them as a music. Well, that's, that's great because um, I think people may appreciate music, but not having the opportunity to play, you never really develop um, to see if you're, you're good at it or you even enjoy yeah. playing. And yeah, that's right. Especially with a piano. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not they're not just sitting, yeah, sitting around. So you have to pay for lessons or just pay to be able to have space to be able to play. Mm -hmm. and, and opportunities like the... Like the um, instrument barn or just having donations where people can pay yes. to be able to, to afford some of the lessons. Um, you're a sophomore, right? Yes, I'm a sophomore. You've got a couple more years after this year, and, mm -hmm. and we know you're going to do well. Do um, <laughs> you think you'll stick with doing this the next couple of years? I really would like to. Mm -hmm. And this, this is my first year, so mm -hmm. I'll see how it's going. And yeah, I would like to keep it up until like, my senior year as long as I can. Great. And I know Karen is uh, graduating this year, yes. and uh, we're going to need somebody to, to take it over, but it seems like the response so far from the community has been a very positive one, and that this looks like this is going to be a concert recital that's going to stay. Yes. Um, wh why do you think it's important for the community to to um, buy into this and, and have it as, a, as an event every year? Um... Keeping this program, so it's kind of fundraiser right now, mm -hmm. so raising money, and I believe it's going to get bigger and bigger every year. I hope so. And yeah, yeah I think it would really help Salisbury getting into more music and mm -hmm. like more musical city and more musical society. Right. Yeah, I think it will help a lot. 
And, and there's this whole movement downtown for like an, uh, a cultural arts arts music district. Yes. Um, and then we have, um, you know, uh, a music venue opening up downtown. So this is just another way to really have sh Salisbury showcase musical talent here locally mm -hmm. um, and really embrace whether it's the classics yes. or modern mm -hmm. music. Um, where do you see music as part of your life moving forward? Music always has been my friends, mom, <laughs> like, yeah, my family. Every time if I don't see any instruments or I don't s like hear any classical music, mm -hmm. I get like really, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So music was really, really music important. still is really sp important in my, in my life and it's my passion doing it, yes. Um, so Peter, we know that this is the second year for this event. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming it's getting bigger and there's gonna be more um, components for this year? Yes, um, it's same place, but there's a lot of people coming this mm -hmm. year, and I think it's gonna be bigger than last year because we we're more announcing and trying to sell the tickets to mm -hmm. people to come, and mm -hmm. it's getting bigger. <laughs> yeah, are you gonna have more people participating? Um, as a classic? Yeah, house? are there gonna be other people? Um, I know you and Amy are gonna mm -hmm. be playing, are there gonna be other people? Yes, um, um, Kieran's playing one song, mm -hmm. and there's another two per people. I think they're doing um, vocal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's as the years goes by, and it's. I hope it's not just a piano. I mm -hmm. think I want like more instruments to get involved, so mm -hmm. it's not look like just piano concert but it's more like getting more instruments and have a whole nothing. symphony yes. up there sometime <laughs> that'd be great um is there anything else that uh that you'd want to comment on for for the event or you know how would you encourage somebody who's watching this to, to come out and uh who may not like classical music or hasn't been really introduced to mm -hmm. it in the way that you guys are going to do what would you say to them to get, convince them or get them out there to watch and support I would say it is really great to you guys to come because it's not just um, for enjoying classical music. It's more for helping society. And who knows if you will like maybe get to um, interested in classical music more. <laughs> great. Was well, there anything else, um, Peter, that we haven't talked about that you wanted to bring up? Um, well, there's dessert reception after the All classical right. cause. And I went there last year and it's it's pretty great foods. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's good foods. So come for the dessert too. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's good, that's really good to hear. Well, I really appreciate you coming in and joining yes. us in the studio today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, that does it for our show. I'm your host, Andy Kitzrow. Thank you for watching Hometown Heroes. We'll see you next time.